this is a miter jig for a table saw and it mounts to a crosscut sled, this guy right here. Uh, that's another video on my channel, you can check that one out. But yeah, this, this miter jig right here, it is screwed down to this crosscut sled, so it, it's not a dedicated uh, crosscut sled just for the miter jig. So that, that's a, uh, a space saver in the garage and a money saver and time saver also, that I can just add jigs to this crosscut sled rather than making a, a dedicated miter jig. And another thing that's different with this design is that it's got this guy right here. This is a stop block that has a nut knob right here that you can, you can slide that guy back and forth, right? And what that will do is it, it will make the length of your miter cut pieces consistent, which is, which is needed you know, when you're making things like uh, picture frames or boxes, you know, where, like say in the case of a square picture frame, each of the four sides of that, uh, each of the four work pieces have to be the exact same length and they have to have the, the exact 45 degree miter cut, you know, in order to get the, the tight joints and the square shape that you want to get. So this guy right here will help with that in control and uh, making sure that the length of these guys is you know, the same for each of the pieces. And so this stop block is made of three-quarter inch plywood. It's got a nut knob here. There's a quarter inch bolt. It's actually a T-slot bolt that fits into the channel back here, a T-slot channel, channel in the back. And that locks it into place and allows it to slide. There's two dowels in, on the back side of this piece right here also. What those that are kind of glued in the back side, they, they fit through this channel also. What that does is it just prevents this, this piece right here from rotating, you know. So it kind of locks into place, and but yet still allows it to slide. So that guy just tightens up with a nut knob. And then there's another nut knob in the back here, which I'll show. You can't really see it too well with this angle here. I'll just get that out. What this nut knob does is it locks the jig down to the crosscut sled. So this guy right here, that knob, nut knob, and I'll, I'll lift the, the jig out so you can see. So that nut knob fits into that hole right there, which corresponds to, um, uh, I believe it is this guy right here. This guy right here in the crosscut sled. So there's a nut on the bottom side of this crosscut sled that is embedded in there and it's glued in place. And that's what allows you to lock the jig down to the crosscut sled. So I don't need to make a, a whole crosscut cross -cut sled for a miter, uh, a miter operation. I just add this this jig to the existing crosscut sled that I have and so it uh, has a benefit there. So this surface back here, it butts up against this backstop on the crosscut sled and then also there's another piece back here on this side that has this 45 degree angle cut right here and that guy butts up against this surface right here on the crosscut sled. So there you have alignment in two axes. So front to back, you, you butt it up against right here, and, and then side to side, it butts up against that 45 degree angle piece that's, that I showed you just a second ago. So that is what allows you to have the repeatable and quick, you know, quick uh, 45 degree angle miter cuts over here when you run your work pieces through the, the table saw. So that guy again just bolts down with uh, this, you know, this hex nut or hex bolts rather, with a nut knob on it. And that guy just locks down into place. And I, I, I made this jig long enough to accept 24 inch work pieces, but I could have just as easily just cut it off, you know, wherever, you know, and made the jig a lot smaller. It doesn't have to be this big. I may actually cut it, cut it back eventually if I find that I'm not needing, you know, 24 inch or really large work pieces. So it's a pretty small jig, and it seems to be working really good. Uh, there's another feature that I want to show, just to just um, while it's here, is that this this guy right here. This is a a hold down feature where you've got your 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 workpiece right here, say, and you're wanting to you know make another cut 
say this guy, they're both sides are cut, but say that guy isn't cut. Uh, you can use this hold down feature to lock that workplace or work piece in place so you don't have to hold your hold the work piece if it's really small. Let's say if this if you have a really long work piece, you just hold it with your hands. But with something small like this, your 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 hands are gonna get close to the blade. So you can you can just lock this down by tightening that nut knob down. There's more details about this hold down feature in this crosscut sled on my channel. Just wanted to show that a uh, little bit more detail there. So there's another view of the crosscut sled right there. So here's four pieces that I cut out with a miter jig. They all have the same length, this this length right here, and they all have 45 degree angles on each corner. So we'll try try putting these pieces together, see how how uh, how the joints fit. Okay, I mean that looks pretty good to me. I need this here. Looks like you want the ends to be uh, real consistent, and you want really tight joints here. And that looks pretty good to me. I mean, I don't know if I can get much better than that.